Hello, Bam Bam. How are you? Good. That's good. So this is Bam Bam, my nephew, and uh, he's uh, enlisted in um, U.S. Uh, Marine Force as an officer. Commissioning. Commissioning. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we're going to hike uh, this Red Rock Canyon. So, um, can you explain me the detail? The last time you, uh, we were here, so, and today, what do you think it's your expectation? And tell me. Yeah, uh, so today my uncle and I are, go are here today at Red Rock Canyon, and we're going to be hiking the Calco Basin, which is about 11 miles. And my uncle is, is wants to challenge me on this trail and I think I can beat him. I think oh, him. I don't think. I'm younger, think. I'm fresher, I'm faster. Uh, if you just look at this landscape, look at that. I can do this. So, right. what, we're, what, what we're expecting today is going to be lots of hilly climbs, uh, lots of rocks. Uh, that's why I got my new boots today. I'm fresh and ready to go. And, um, you know, it's going to be a tough 11 miles, but guess who's going to come out on top? Me. <laughs> well, I don't think so. I've been right. hiking for like seven years, so, so we'll see. Observatory uh, area where the uh, tourists come by, and as you see, all of this this was once uh, part of the ocean floor. All this was covered by the ocean, and then what happened was the uh, the waters uh, receded, and the crust uh, pushed together to form these mountains. And these mountains uh, came like dust fragments, and this area used to be a desert in the mountains. And over time, as the as the wind blew, uh, those Sand fragments became part of the mountain themselves. Uh, those lines that you see over there, those streaks, um, are actually um, sand dunes uh, frozen to become part of the mountains. Now we're getting a closer view of, of the canyon, of, of these rocks. And like I was saying earlier, um, these streaks right here, see these red lines, uh, came from the sand uh, when, when this place used to be a desert, you know, after the oceans um, disappeared. Um, so these uh, came from when the wind would blow the sand towards the rocks. And over time, the, the sand would form and just dry and harden. So, this is what gives these rocks, these, these unique, very beautiful um, streaks. Kind of, they kind of look like strawberry ice cream in a way. I, I, I like to think of chocolate uh, ice cream with, with like a, a strawberry, the strawberries mix in it. See this? Look at this. These are beautiful striations. Just the, you know, those um, those darker striations of the rock formation. Uh, it's really important, you know. It, it is a physical activity, but there's also a side of it where you, you just have to appreciate uh, nature. I mean, we're so focused about going to the gym, exercising, but you know, this is nature's natural gym right here. Not only do you get exercise, you also get like some eye candy, right? Getting to see these um, be beautiful formations and what nature has to offer. Um, so this is a, I don't know, a dwelling place. <laughs> you can probably sleep in here. Uh, but why don't, you, why don't you get inside? 
Yeah, Just try it. Yeah, yeah you'll see how how deep is that inside. You see, if I were a caveman and it's like in the middle of the summer, this would be a nice temporary home. You, know, so you got a nice shade. <laughs> yeah, you have a nice uh, you got chairs. And probably got a bed right here, you know, you got a couch bed, just slide down like this. <laughs> or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, take a look at the, uh, the, the white striation right there. Yeah, there's like a ring, it's a white, white ring around it. I don't know why they just red and white, but, you know, it's just beautiful how, how these came to be. And these took thousands of years to like form and develop. And hundreds of years ago, someone was probably in this place. Uh, someone's DNA is on this, and I'm sitting in the same place as they are. And you know what? A hundred years from now, someone else is going to be here. passageway. Uh, interesting about this place is that you'll see the sand from thousands of years ago um, that's supposed to be hitting the rocks and creating those um, striations on the rocks. But these rocks, because they're in a slot, the, the, the wind couldn't touch them. So they remain here. And what I'm touching here right now is fine sand from thousands of years ago. This is underwater sand. And now it's, it's all right here. Part of history, part of us. And when I get home today, I'll probably have a fragment with me. You know, it's on my body. It's a reminder that we're all part of this one world. And each one of us is like the sand. And you know, we pass away at this time and the new generation comes another. So enjoy life and live long.